Hello guys, how you doing? Now, welcome to another lesson and in this particular lesson, we're going to be looking at internet and the web. Now, as I said earlier, in the internet, understanding the internet is very important as a web developer because it's going to, your, your knowledge in it is going to go a long way and help you out when you know or have an idea what is going on behind the scene. So, without any further ado, let's dive into it. Now, first what is the internet now this is something everyone knows everyone uses the internet now the internet is just basically a global network of interconnected computers that can share information okay that sounds a bit like a mouthful but let's continue we're going to break it down so now the internet is also called the web it basically consists of hundreds millions of computers all over the world that can share information with each other so how does this take place now how does the internet work now the internet is formed by a series of fiber opt optic communication cables that runs under the sea now these cables are also called the submarine cables i don't know if you've ever heard of it before but basically we have giant um large long um cables that runs um throughout the oceans under the seas and these cables actually help in transmitting of um, information um, throughout the internet. So now these cables are basically the backbone of the internet. They basically uh, is what they are what uh, forms the skeletal structure of the internet. So here's how the internet basically works. Now we have all of these submarine cables uh, that connect to different aspects to different parts of the world different countries different continents and then they basically um connect to your isp network so all of your internet service providers um, actually have access to this um internet backbone so they basically stay connected to the internet all the time so and then afterwards we have wireless transmitters which actually helps so these um isp networks they have all these wireless transmitters i don't know if you've ever seen all these masts so they basically um help in transferring of all these um information from the isp networks and then we now have your devices such as your mobile phones your modems etc now i'm going to break that also down further let's continue now this is a picture of the internet submarine cables we can see all of these um images which shows all the um places or all the routes in which all the cables run now you can check this out in submarinecablemap.com i will leave the link also okay let's continue now how does the internet really work i have an image here that simplifies everything now this is a summary of how a wireless internet um link works so first now you see the internet backbone I talked about. Now it's going to pass it across to your ISP network. So the ISP network always stays connected to the internet backbone. Now your ISP network is also going to um, make a connection to the wireless transmitter. I know you, you should have seen this. Uh -huh, the wireless transmitter, okay, also pass across information to one another. Okay, and then they can also pass if, um access to give access to your wireless modem at home your um lan etc so this is basically a summary of how e everything works so this isp network um provider is connected always to the internet um right here so every isp um network ev across the world they all have access to the internet always so what they basically do is give you a bit of access so that access they have they give you um a bit of it so um in exchange for you making payments to them so they are the ones that take your money in exchange for giving you access to their infrastructure which is connected to the internet so that's basically how it works now you can get this particular image i will um, drop the link um, in the description also okay so how does communication over the internet happen all right now there are two majorly types of devices connected to the internet now the first we have the client and then which sends a response whether okay maybe the a type of response which is get post put delete uh if you don't get that don't worry we're going to 
go into that later on and then they send it to the servers now the servers receive that particular information and then send an appropriate response back whether it's in form of html css javascript images json data etc it sends a particular thing so basically the client tells the server hey what's up i need this particular thing from you okay and then the server would okay respond oh i have this thing here it is or oh, i don't okay i don't have this thing so it sends a kind of response back to the client so that's basically how it um, works and then remember we have the clients and we have the servers now this um very bit of information actually going to make sense um in a moment when everything clicks but just stick with me we have the clients and then we have the servers now clients and servers now the clients are basically your device that you use to connect to the internet when we um referring to clients can be maybe a web browser um on a phone on or on a your pc it's a c so and then we um a browser usually refer to the device that you use to access the internet now let's move on then we also have the servers now servers are computers that store web pages sites or apps so that's basically what servers are they are also computer devices but what their major um purpose their major goal is to save um a particular information and to respond whenever okay there is a request to it so when a client device wants to access a particular web page now that copy of that web page is sent from the server into the client's machine now the client's machine uh, such as the web browser would then display it into um inside of the web browser inside of your tab so that you see how everything works so we've come to the end of this particular um lesson and i hope you remember everything if not you can recap um about what we've learned about how the internet work the clients and the servers now everything is going to make sense in a, a moment so without any further ado let's move on to the next lesson i'll see you there